Kings game over the last couple of weeks. I think that's, I mean, given the situation, we have to get better. So um, I think uh, as a whole, this group over the over the years have proven when we need to play really well, we can. Um, unfortunately, we need to figure out a way to not put ourselves in these situations, but um, we've been tested time and time again, so it's just this is going to be down the stretch. We have to push our game to another level if we want to be in the playoffs. Without trying to say too much about playoff-style hockey, but was that game on Saturday a step towards being a playoff-style game? Uh, I think that's more the type of game we want to play. Um, obviously, we need to score a goal, but um, we had really good chances. I think Fleury played really well for them, but um, I think we limited their their chances uh, pretty well, especially considering how many power plays they had. Um, that's more the game we need to play. Have you kind of, I don't know what the, what the right word is, not accepted, but the fact that the offense just kind of ebbs and flows, I mean, it's kind of just how you guys have been over the period of time. Uh, that, yeah, I mean, I think that's just part of a season. I think yeah. a, a season can ebb and flow. And, um, you know, if everyone could, if we could score four goals a game every game, it's it's not an easy league to score goals, and it takes hard work and commitment to doing things right. But um, you know, last night uh, was a good example. I thought we had really, we have to bear down on our chances, if, if anything. But individually, uh, collectively, I think there's more concern on the offensive side of the game after a game where you don't we lose one nothing and you don't have those chances. We're generating good chances. It's just a matter of bearing down, and um, there's a big difference between not scoring and not having a, a chance. And that can go individually for guys who um, aren't scoring as much. Um, if they're getting chances, it's just that's kind of how it can go sometimes. Dustin, nine, nine three and two over since. Pardon? You guys nine three and two last fourteen. I would guess you've got to be pretty happy with the way you guys have played, even though the position you're still out of playoffs. Um, I think we all understood what we needed to do to kind of be where we are, even though we're not where we want to be. Um, and uh, fortunately, uh, this league moves pretty quick, so you don't really look at what you've done. You're always looking at what you're, you, you need to do. Um, and that's, I think, a good thing. So, what's the to, what, what are you guys still need to do in the fall round? Obviously, you guys have to win the game. What is, what is it going to take to? Because everybody's still winning. What's it going to take to push the party? Um, I think the key is just the difference in the last 14, 15 games that you're talking about is how we've taken care of our own zone. I mean, we lose a game one nothing, and obviously scoring was an issue, but I mean, we didn't get, we didn't give up much. Um, and that's been our. I think our success lately has been because um, we've protected our zone really well. Um, there's not too many games where we won't score a goal, so we got to take continue to take care of our end. That's going to be uh, the key down the stretch. And the good thing about division, how it all plays out now with the new divisional stuff, is we still play these teams that um, are right ahead of us.